miles of road work, countless punches thrown, weeks of jumping, crunching, wraps, mitts, bag work, sweat, and strategizing have all led Team Triple G here. Fight week. We're in the last week. Uh, our last day of sparring is uh, tomorrow. And I think we drive down on Tuesday for, uh, to, towards the venue, so we're toning it down now. A little bit different this time. A lot of heavy guy, you know, just this time not for speed, just for timing, just for distance, maybe, maybe this fight, decision fight. And for Gennady, Triple G Golovkin, and trainer Abel Sanchez, there's one word that sums up their feelings as they prepare to wrap camp and face Marco Antonio Rubio at the Stub Hub Center in Carson, California. Ready. I'm ready. My preparation is very good, you know, just my focus for my fight is very good. My maximum focus to my fight, you know. I have, I have great performance for performance. My preparation is good. I have good sparring. I have good training camp this time. You know, I'm very happy. With most of the physical work now behind them, Fight Week poses other challenges for Team Triple G. With every impressive victory comes more notoriety, which means more appearances, interviews, and fanfare. The price of winning is greater demand of the fighter's time. When your adopted city asks you to show off your athleticism, how can you say no? It doesn't interfere because I don't allow it. I don't let him do uh, interviews, and first of all, that are not necessary, but that are getting close to a fight. I don't want him uh, doing more than maybe one interview a day, if, if that, because uh, he's got to focus on what he's doing. Golovkin manages to maintain his humble outlook in the face of his ever-increasing celebrity status. We've talked about that. He's ready for it. Uh, I don't allow it to get to a point where it's, uh, it's burdensome and it's, uh, it conflicts with the schedule that we have in the gym. The gym is more important because if the gym is not done and we don't do what we're supposed to do on fight night, then all these uh, interviews will go away. For a man who values his family first and foremost, this is, after all, just a job. Wow, my all time for my family, for my wife, for my kids, you know. Just maximum focus, very serious, just I need just 40 minutes for my fight. I need just one hour this day. Amidst the media mayhem and grueling training regiment, Golovkin remains surprisingly calm. Uh, relaxing is probably the most important part other than focusing. Just living, sleeping, just maybe talking with my team a little bit, you know, just funny story like that, just maximum relax. I sleep very well. I don't get hit in a fight. Which is also why Abel is glad to have Gennady's twin brother, Maxim, as part of the team. My brother Max, he's my twin brother, like 50-50. He helped me every time, you know, I feel him. Just he for me, just, he's my brother. Well, that's probably his best friend. Uh, I think Max knows what he's thinking before he's thinking it. Uh, it's important for Max to keep him calm and to remind him of some of the keys that we have to uh, stay calm and stay, uh, stay relaxed. I, I ask Max, Max sometimes to tell him, tell Gennady some things in Russian so that nobody else understands. Max is uh, quite knowledgeable in the sport as much as Gennady. I, I don't think that I need to educate him in anything. Days away from the main event, Abel knows how he'll maintain his fighter's focus. For the day of the fight, we'll have breakfast probably about 9 o'clock, get our things ready, have him rest. Uh, generally, uh, since he's a TV fight, we don't go on until 9 o'clock. He listens to Michael Jackson sometimes, he listens to some uh, Kazakhstani music, but uh, yeah, there's, uh, it's not too loud, but it's uh, soothing music. I'm close for everybody, just, I'm open just for my team, because this is my business, I understand my business, just my focus to my fight, for just my team. This day, just all day for my team. Gennady Glovkin might just be the eye of his own storm, the calm in the midst of a destructive hurricane. I think the first couple rounds, or even the first round, uh, as you've seen in all of Gennady's fights, uh, we go out and we try to uh, 
see what the other guy's got, see what his, uh, his plan of attack is, see what his strategy is going to be. And once that happens and Gennady starts zeroing in, get, getting his distance, getting his timing, uh, second uh, round we'll, uh, we'll see fireworks. Third round I think uh, uh, Rubio starts to run from him. Fourth round he puts him down and fifth round he puts him on. Abel Sanchez has his predictions, but Marco Antonio Rubio will be prepared to rain on Triple G's parade. And on October 18th, storm fronts will collide.